Well, hello everybody. I am so excited today to talk to Daniel Newman. I've been waiting for this conversation because every time I talk to Daniel, I learn a few things. So Daniel, why don't you start and tell us a little bit about yourself? Neha, it's great to be here. I'm Daniel Newman. I'm the founding partner and principal analyst at Futurum Research. I'm a seven times best-selling author in my most recent book called Human Machine. I'm also a contributor to Forbes, Market Watch, a regular on CNBC, Yahoo Finance, and Bloomberg. So given your area of expertise, Daniel, I would be curious, what are you seeing today? Like what are the top trends going on, particularly with sales transformation? Right now we're in this situation where sales is changing. The new class of people entering the workforce are more digitally native and informed. They want to communicate using many different channels, but we have this new world where data is exponential. So you take all those things I just said and you add on endless amounts of data for salespeople to utilize and have to sift through. And it makes for a really great opportunity, but also a really difficult job. And, and it all comes down to how do you derive intelligence from that data? And so that this is where I would love to hear your thoughts about what can organizations do, and particularly sales organizations do, to improve their employee productivity or to give employees some intelligence from that data so employees can do something with it. Salespeople spend an inordinate amount of time doing things that aren't sales related. And this has just been a byproduct of the world that we live in. Um, we built technologies like CRM, and the whole idea of a CRM was to help a salesperson to be better at keeping the task in hand, staying with the customer, understanding what follow-up, coordinating a different cross-function organization. But there was a problem. It also became a tool for management to understand what salespeople were doing. And in that process, we ended up saying, hey, um, you know, Miss Salesperson or Mr. Salesperson, you're going to have to come back to work for two, three hours at the end of every day, and you're going to have to pound all this data into a CRM so that the people that are sitting in the glass turrets know what's going on. And I think if you want to empower a salesperson, say, hey, we're going to get all of the difficult processes out of the way so you can focus on the customer, their objections, and making sure they know about your products and services, and that, of course, that you hit quota so that you're able to make a great living doing a job that companies, I hope, value for what, what it is. CRMs are extremely important. Like, they're not going away, and we're not saying you shouldn't enter the data in CRM. It's the method of entering the data in CRM. Instead of saying, oh, this, go spend another two or three hours, and do that busy work of entering data. Can we capture the data as they go about doing their work and then capture the data for them, curate the data, um, and then on their behalf, put it back into the CRM system. Let the tools take care of it. I would love to hear your thoughts and what are you hearing? I'm gonna come back to this now. Sales is hard. And it is a very specific archetype. And these people are instrumental to an organization. We want these people to feel supported. And the systems of record have largely let them down. We actually asked the question, uh, as a result of bad CRM data, <laughs> have you ever? Uh, and we asked us, like, made an embarrassing mistake where you had to apologize. So uh, an instance where you not only embarrassed yourself, but your company, over 80% of salespeople said bad data in CRM had costed them that. 81% um, said they made an embarrassing mistake or had to apologize to a customer. And over 48% said this has happened more than once. 13% said it's too frequent to remember, meaning effectively they have really bad systems of record. Those stats are like just amazing. It's so, it's like bad for the organization. It's bad for the customer relationship. It's bad for customer experience. Okay, based on everything you know, what are the top three pain points that sellers have? Yeah, I, I think one is uh, efficiency of time. I think so that comes down to what we just talked about with, you know, enabling their everyday interactions to be automatically uh, captured. I think two is uh, reporting, meaning how do you get deals into the system so that the managers and those that need the reporting data have it without necessarily making that a big job for sales. I think that can be somewhat automated or somewhat done through simple support tasks or easy capture. Um, and I think the third, and this is a little bit different, but I think uh, is really important, is 
productivity management, and this is something I think both Viva Sales with what you're doing, but overall the whole vision of Viva can help with all of these things. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Daniel. Thanks for having me, Neha.